Hello everyone. In this video, we will discuss about the file system structure. So when we talk about the file system structure, so we should know about the disk structure. So disk are nothing but the secondary storage device uh, on which the file system ought to be maintained. So there are two characteristics that plays a major role in disk, which is nothing but the first one is a disk can be rewritten in place, which means disk can be divided into several number of partitions and we used to call all those partitions as a blocks. So for each block, uh, we can read any one of the block and we can change the content of the block and again we can write the same block in the original place where it was previously located in the disk. This is what disk can be rewritten. So this is the first characteristic. The second characteristic is the disk can access uh, directly which means any of the block of information uh, whatever uh, uh, we have in the disk so any block can be accessed directly. So the file system, whatever the files we have arranged in the disk, all those files can be accessed either sequentially or randomly, which is nothing but directly. So if you want to switch from one file to another, so it may requires only the only to move the read write heads and waiting for the disk to rotate. So this is what the, the uh, another characteristics of the disk. So when you are trying to improve the efficiency of I.O. then your I.O. transfer must be done in between the memory and the disk in, in uh, means of units of blocks. So we need to transfer everything in units of blocks then it will improve the I.O. efficiency very well. So each block may consist of many number of sectors depending on the size of the disk drive or depending on the disk drive the sector size may vary. Uh, so it may vary from 32 to 4096 bytes usually it will have only 512 bytes the sector size so uh, this file system uh, so when we are uh, uh, talking about the disk so this file system plays the major role on the disk because it provides the convenient and efficient uh, access to the disk uh, by allowing the data to be stored retrieved and also located easily so this file system it should possess two different uh, design problem the first one is how the file system will uh, should look to the user so how it has been organized so how it has been structured so we should we have lot uh, about the file file system which are nothing but how uh, the operation has been done on the file so how to define a file what are all their attributes how the directory structure could be maintained for organizing the file so these are all the first design issue and the second design issue which is nothing but whenever you are uh, creating any algorithms or data structure so that to be mapped with the logical file system onto the physical file system so how the mapping has been done so that is actually the design i mean second design problem so the file system can be composed of many different levels so the uh, it consists of a, a layered uh, design so each level in the design will use the features of a lower level to create the new features of the higher levels so here we have several levels of the file system structure so first one is application programs so we'll start uh, uh, I mean, we'll start discussing from the uh, lower level, which means at the bottom level. So whatever the things we have, which is nothing but devices and they are said to be IO devices, input and output devices. And then we will be having the IO control. So what the IO control will do? It consists of many device driver, device driver, which are nothing but um, so like a interrupt handler so which is used for transferring the information between the memory and the disk system so a device driver can be act as a translator which means it will retrieve the information as a high level language and uh, uh, it will get the input as a high level language and it will be translated into a machine level language so that the computer or the machine can uh, perform the operation whatever it is given by the user and also it is used for specifying the bit patterns to special locations in the IO controller's memory to tell the controller so which device location um, that we want to retrieve and what actions to be done. So this is what the information or these are all the set of things will be done by the IO control. And the next one is basic file system. So this file system which is uh, used for uh, providing the commands or the instruction to the device driver. So in order to perform any read or write physical blocks on the disk. 
which means if you want to perform any read operation on write operation on the disk that uh, on the files that were present in the disk then we can go with this basic file system so the all the physical blocks that we have on the disk should be identified by its specific uh, disk address like uh, drive one so what is the cylinder number what is the track number what is the sector number so all those information you need to uh, provide whenever you want to access any of the file particular file in the disk so this layer also manages the memory buffer and the caches because um, so even the temporary storage such as uh, cache and the memory buffer uh, has the capability of holding this entire file system and also uh, um, so directories and also some data blocks so uh, initially we used to store the block in the buffer so if it has some space suppose the buffer does not have empty space if the buffer is full then uh, we need to transfer all those uh, information into the disk so that we can free the buffer somewhat so why we are actually going with this caches uh, which means cache memory in order to hold this file system which means in order to improve the uh, performance of the system we are actually using the cache memory to hold the frequently used file system metadata so which means uh, whatever the file system we are going to refer it frequently so all those kinds of file system we use to store it in the cache or memory buffer and the next one is file organization modules next layer or next level is file organization module which means uh, it this uh, mod particular module will know about the information uh, which means about the files and their logical blocks as well as the physical blocks so uh, we need to uh, translate the logical block address into physical block address for any of the basic file system to transfer so each files will be holding only the logical numbers say for example from 0 uh, through to n so since the physical blocks containing the actual data uh, so we need to match it with the physical block so if it does not get matches then the translation is needed to locate each block so the file organization module will also include the information such as free space manager so which is used for allocation or deallocation of any blocks on the disk and the next level or the next uh, layer which is nothing but the logical file system so this particular file system will is used for managing the free uh, i mean metadata information so metadata is nothing but it will include the entire thing about the file system structure except its content so except the actual data of the file all other related information will be stored that's what that is what metadata so here the logical file system manages the directory structure to provide the file organization module with the information so that is given a symbolic file name right so it maintains the file structure with the help of file control block so when we talk about the process so we actually used the process control block in order to hold the information about the process in the same way we are going to use the fcb that is file control block in order to hold the information about the entire files so each and every file must have their own set of uh, uh, fcb that is file control block so in unix file system we used to call this fcb as inode so there will be one specific unique number will be provided for each and every file system whatever we have so there may be many different number of uh, file systems that were available so all those uh, files or the file system can be maintained with a unique number that is what inode number so all these layering of structure of the file system uh, implementation will avoid the duplication of the code so which means it is not completely avoided but it is somewhat uh, minimized the duplication of code will be minimized because as i said there could be many number of uh, different file system or to be maintained in the system so each and every file system will have their own set of uh, logical file system and also the file organization modules so this layering will minimize the uh, duplication of code but anyways it also has some disadvantages like so we need to so operating system has to take the decision about how many layers has to use and what each layer uh, is it, it, it could it uh, i mean of what each layer will be doing so this could be a major challenging task in designing the new file systems so this is what about the file system structure thank you